here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. Yenny! I'm out here taking chances, man, as you can see. Because, uh, it look like I'm gonna get rained on. And y'all know I hate the rain. But hey, duty calls, man. So I'm out here trying to give you all this, uh, highway run. Let me get some gas first. We don't want to run out of gas. I figure if I get on the highway and go fast enough, maybe I could dodge the raindrops. <laughs> I guess we'll see. See, uh, if we can get a little bit of action today. And I'm super curious, like I said, to see how well this uh, top wind deflector does. I can immediately see the difference um, just by, you know, going around a residential area and things like that. But it's really gonna tell all once I'm on the highway and I'm uh, going at some higher speed. So let me just gas up. Then we'll try and hit that highway before this rain hit us. Uh-oh, we got a Mustang right here. It'll be interesting to see what y'all are seeing too. But I hope that ain't rain up there, man. I think I see rain, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Quick question. <laughs> hey, is it me? This is a question to all my Rex riders out there. Is it me? Or do you feel like the biggest idiot in your T-Rex when you actually get caught in the rain? I don't mean sprinkles. I mean, if you own the T-Rex long enough, you've been caught in a downpour at some point. I would think, if you're riding it enough. Just moseying on along, going down the road, and it's pouring down on you. And you got all the people that would normally look at you like, damn, man, what's that? That thing is cool. Looking at you like you're a damn imbecile. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, guys. I know this is one of the coolest machines you could have as far as toys. Um, but I do know that anytime I've got caught in the rain with this thing, 
especially just a straight up down for I felt like the biggest idiot on earth. So far, I think I was at close to 70, about 69 miles an hour, and I felt no wind. I'm not gonna say I felt no wind, but I felt very limited wind. I don't even have my glasses on. I don't know if you all remember uh, the last highway run that I did. Um, I had to pull off the exit to get um, my glasses and I put my glasses on too. So, so far it's, it's looking like it would be a smart move if you do get this bottom windscreen or even if you had the OEM lower windscreen, this top wind deflector would definitely make the difference in a lot of that air that's coming in still. We're gonna try and open her up here, guys. No guarantees. But you know me. 71. Get this one. 
it would be wise and smart to get this top windscreen as well. Um, they work great together. All the information will be linked in the description below. You know I can't do a highway run um, without stepping out the wrecks and showing you what's going on with it. You see the top wind deflector is definitely holding up um, even with the highway run. Um, it's good in my opinion. That top windscreen works perfect with the bottom windscreen. I can't pinpoint an exact uh, percentage of how much wind it stopped. But if I were to guess, guys, I would say like 80 to 90 percent. I mean, my hat didn't move. I didn't need any glasses on. Um, I wasn't getting anything in my eyes. Even if you don't get that bottom windscreen from Jet Coast Motorsports, that top windscreen will still work fine, I'm sure, with the, uh, with the OEM. I just know, in my opinion, once you see how nice that is, you're going to wish that you had got that anyway. So go ahead and do yourself a favor and get it. One other thing that I did notice that you do have to be mindful of is when you're getting in and out of the wrecks, make sure you know where you're grabbing. This is not a full windshield. So by this being just like that top wind deflector, so to speak, it would be very easy to grab a hold of it by accident. Maybe put a little bit too much weight on it. I have found myself grabbing uh, on it a little bit. Not enough to do any damage or anything, but I'm just letting you know for any other uh, other guys who are kind of like myself and just kind of grab a hold of whatever when they're getting into it. Just make sure you be mindful of where you're grabbing because you don't want to put too much pressure on this thing with your body weight end up cracking it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.